So guess what guys, we're getting ready to leave Alaska and go into Canada. Good morning, welcome to day two. And we're out here along the Alaska Highway, little boondocking spot off the side of the road. Very, very quiet. Obviously there's not a whole lot of traffic coming through here this time of year due to not only it being winter, but COVID as well. Uh, we're about to head south, which is weird to think about, but it feels kind of warm already. It's like a spring chill in the air, seven o'clock in the morning and we're getting ready to hit the road. So we've had our morning coffee. Let the adventures begin. <laughs> so there's reindeer over there. We've been taking pictures and getting videos, but they just can't decide where they're going, if they're gonna go across the street or over into there. But Ember wants to play. Ready? Oh, you know there's something over there, don't you? What's over there? Get your toy. Your toy's over there. But you know there's something over there, don't you?
we made it across the border into Canada. It took about an hour and yeah. Yep. It was a pretty normal border crossing. Um, we are on essential travel. So I do have an essential travel letter, which is what they look at. Uh, we both did do our COVID-19 testing and pieces, which were, has to be a PCR test. Both of them were negative, so we had those results on hand, our passports, and all the information on where we're traveling to. And then all the normal questions like, do you have firearms, weapons, drugs, alcohol, etc. And of course, we don't, so it's all good. We have 24 hours to get through Yukon. And um, basically... Then we're going to come... We basically have to take a, the straightest shot that we can out of here, just to travel. We're not allowed to do any sightseeing, we're not allowed to go to any stores. The only restaurants you can go to is drive throughs You can't get groceries. Uh, if something were to happen, we can stay at a hotel, but we cannot stay at any government campgrounds. So he said, basically we're boondocking, which we do anyway. So. We're self-contained. stopped at a rest stop just outside of Destruction Bay in Kluani Lake, which is, of course, one of my favorite drives around Kluani Lake. In the summer, the winter, it doesn't matter because it's gorgeous. I still can't believe we're here. <laughs> this feels really good. So Ember's um, getting some exercise. There's nobody around. Jim's taking care of chores. Whip up some lunch. Day two is turning out to be a really good day. I've got this sriracha mayonnaise. We'll see how it turns out. Looks good. Some pepper jack cheese. 
cracked pepper turkey breast. Beautiful spring day. It is. <laughs> This is the big town of Haynes Junction. And what the big deal about this here is, is you can either take a left and continue on the Alaska Highway, or you could take a right and go to Haynes, Alaska. And that's where you actually get on the ferry uh, down to Washington. So after a long day of driving, made it across the border, a lot of success. We saw a wolf, that was a good plus. Um, now we're getting near the end of our day, it's already 7 o'clock. It's going to get dark in probably about an hour. So our whole goal today was to get to Teslin, which we're almost to, we're about 45 miles or so from that. And it went from blue skies to now a snowy, stormy weather day. So we're having fun. We're getting to the end of day two and I'm actually getting hungry so I'm sure we're going to cook something. And we have options for dinner. Before we left we stocked up with chicken, reindeer sausage, and all kinds of other goodies just to make instant pot inspirations while we are here in Canada because we knew we wouldn't be able to stop at the grocery stores. There's one thing that I know we're going to be missing though. Vegetables. We're not missing them. I haven't had them in like two days. I don't miss them. We have no vegetables. I had lettuce and tomatoes on my burger yesterday. So tonight is either going to be chicken and rice or Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice.
In Canada, we have to remember that diesel isn't green, it's yellow. <laughs>